Here are seven beginner friendly side hustles that anyone can do. There's been times I've made like maybe eight hundred dollars in a day. Three to four thousand dollars a month. Sixty dollars to haul off a TV and a mattress. One more sale will hit fifty thousand. And when I say anyone, I mean you don't need any special skills to start making money with these. I mean anyone can do them. I'm not going to tell you something generic like start an e-commerce store or start a blog. These are actual unique side hustles that I have personally tried or have experience with that literally anyone can start. You see, when I started out as an entrepreneur, I had no idea what I was doing. I tried tons of different businesses and side hustles to make extra cash. I tried internet businesses, service businesses, weird flipping product hacks, all the different gig economy apps. Some made me nothing. Some made me $100 a day, $500 a day, and one I'll share that even made me $3,000 a day on average. So let's jump in to seven beginner friendly side hustles that you can start. Side hustle number one is ShareTown. ShareTown. The bulk of this is coming through ShareTown. There's been times I've made like maybe $800 in a day. Three to $4,000 a month. Now what ShareTown does is facilitates returns for online furniture companies. When an online furniture company sells you a product and you decide that you want to return it, many times that product can't fit back in the box. Say a mattress. Once you cut it open, it expands and you can't fit it back in the box. So ShareTown hires reps in each town to come pick up these basically brand new furniture returns and bring them back to their house. Now what you do is ShareTown will give you all the images, descriptions, everything you need to post these like new furniture pieces on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, and when they sell, you split the final sale price with ShareTown. Now, many of these are online mattress companies where mattresses sell from anywhere from $300 to $700. There are a lot of testimonials and people who are doing ShareTown as a side hustle, making three to $4,000 a month. You can pick the days and the times that you wanna pick up the items. So it's very much on your own time, can be a great side hustle to do on the weekend or to supplement any junk removal. All you need is proof that you have a pickup truck or an SUV, very simple and easy form to fill out online to get started. Now, number two is Amazon product arbitrage. So I've sold almost $5 million worth of name brand products on Amazon. $2,000 off it off this shipment. I'm going to TJ Maxx today to see what I can find to resell on Amazon. And there's a lot of people making six figures a year doing this full time, but you can also do it on the side and make a little bit of extra cash. So what you do is you're gonna wanna download an Amazon barcode reading app. You can scan any product in any store and it'll tell you how much that product is selling for on Amazon. So go into local deal stores like TJ Maxx, Walmart clearance section, Ross, Marshalls, and look for deals. When you see something that's marked down or on clearance, scan it with the barcode scanner and see how much it's selling for on Amazon. Maybe they're selling in the store for $5, but they sell on Amazon for $30. Sometimes they will even have an entire pallet or an entire rack of those products. You could buy a hundred cell phone cases that are selling on clearance at $5. And when you scan them, you see on Amazon, they're selling for $29. Buy them all, take them back to your house. All you have to do is package them up and ship them into Amazon. And when they sell, you get the cash. Now, like I said, there's a lot of people making great money doing this. As you do it more and more, you're going to see which stores have great clearance items and which products are going to sell best. You can do this with books. You can do this with electronics. You can do this with clothes. So if you're already going to these stores anyways, you might as well get this barcode scanning app and scan some products and see if there's anything that you can get some good profit margin on. Just buy and take home and then resell for more. And number three is Craigslist flipping. Free queen mattress. Get 50 to $100 for that. Easy. $1,800 per week flipping couches. Yeah, you can make so much money couch flipping. Here's how I make extra money selling lawnmowers. Now, you can make amazing money in Craigslist flipping. There's a lot of people who make six figures or more full-time incomes just flipping items on Craigslist. The key is you need to know what to look for and where to find the deals. So you want to find high ticket items that are going to have more room for profit. There's a lot of people who just want to get things off their hands and are getting rid of things for free or very cheap that have quite a bit of value. You want to look for things like mattresses, couches. You can find a broken lawnmower, go home, fix it up and sell that. You usually make $100, $200 profit. High-end baby items, furniture pieces, if you want to take those back and refinish them, can make a quite a bit of profit. Electronics, you just want to look for anywhere that you can get a deal and turn around and sell something for more. Now, if you see something for free, you're going to want to be quick to go pick it up because there's other people that are looking to snap those items up. This is a great thing to do on the weekends to supplement another job and can turn into a full-time income. Some people will even focus on a specific item. There's a guy making well into the six figures a year, picking up high quality cameras, fixing them up and then reselling them. Uh, there's also people who do this with couches, refinish them, clean them up. And many people are making thousand, two thousand dollars a week just flipping couches alone. Furniture flipping can be very lucrative. You just have to know where to find the deals. Number four is a little known hack that might be one of my favorite ways to find side hustle jobs. A lot of people think that indeed.com is just for corporate jobs, but if you go on there and type in contract work and in your area, 
you can find people and companies looking for people who will do contract work on the side for them. And there's a bunch of jobs in a bunch of different categories that you can sort through. Now you can choose if you want it to be remote or hybrid where you actually go to an actual location. You can choose the job type if you want it to be full-time. So part-time would be best for a side hustle, grocery shopper, dog groomer, delivery driver needed 200 to $300 a day, bagel courier, office assistant, $300 a week, part-time, delivery driver, 25 to $29 an hour, part-time. Then you can also choose if you want to be fully remote and that you can go within 100 miles or even more freelance interpreter, $18 an hour. But definitely just scroll through Indeed, see if you find anything interesting. It can be very surprising at how many cool jobs there are out there that you can do on the side for some extra cash. Number five is a little hack that you can do using a site called Printful and Etsy. So what you're going to want to do first is go over to Etsy and find a niche that is selling very well. So something like matching mom and daughter shirts. And you can see there's a bunch of shirts on here that are selling a lot. This one has 59000 reviews. So that's 14,000 reviews. Then you're going to make your own design that's different. So once you find your niche, what you're going to want to do is go over to Canva. And this is a free design website where it's very easy to design mugs, t-shirts, sweatshirts, a bunch of different products. You can find a bunch of pre-made t-shirt designs, mug designs, sweatshirt designs that you can then delete the words that they have and put your own words in. You can even search specific things like mom t-shirts and it'll give you designs that you can grab and customize. So once you find a design that you like and you want to sell on Etsy, all you have to do is go over to a site called Printful. So Printful has everything from stationery to t-shirts to sweatshirts to mugs to glasses to dog bowls, phone covers, and you can put your customized design from Canva that you created on any of these items and Printful will drop ship it automatically for you. It's connected directly to your Etsy store. So when an order comes in through your Etsy store, it will go directly to Printful and they'll ship it out for you. You don't have to pay upfront for the products or hold a whole bunch of inventory, they will just ship a single item for you directly to your customer. Number six is monetize your passion. If there's something that you're really interested in and knowledgeable in, it can be anything from dogs to dancing to triathlons to Pokemon cards. Start making a ton of content on that topic. Whatever you're most comfortable doing, you can start a Facebook group, you can start posting on Instagram, you can make YouTube videos. They don't have to be anything professional. You just have to start posting and creating a following in that niche. This is a little bit more of a long game side hustle, but you can do it whenever you have free time and just create as much content on whatever passion you have that you're knowledgeable in and start putting it out there. Once you build a following, there is endless ways that you can monetize that following. Whether you start your own products, you start referring out affiliate products, you make money from your YouTube ads, just start building a following. Down the road, you will realize there is so much potential in being able to monetize that following and that niche that you're so passionate about. And that is an amazing way to build a career about something that you love or just have it as a side hustle that brings in extra income. Now, this might not be the best if you're looking for money right now this second, but if you're interested in a long game side hustle, this is one of the best. And number seven, now this is where I found myself making $3,000 plus a day. This is the same business that went from a side hustle that now I run today that profits over seven figures a year, and that is home services. Now, you may be thinking, I don't want to start a home service. That's not what I'm looking to do, but hear me out. Every young entrepreneur is trying to start the next drop shipping store, Amazon FBA, VA store, AI business, tech business, SaaS business, but the home service industry is wide open for disruption. And in my opinion, the easiest for beginners to get into and can be a side hustle or a full-time job. A lot of home service companies don't even answer the phone when you call and they're just comfortable with the business that they have. It's extremely easy to get into the home services market and start getting jobs right away. There's a simple hack for beginners. If you want to start a home service business, print off a flyer with your face on it and a simple business logo, and maybe a list of a few services that you offer. Then leave some lines down below that are blank. Go around every apartment in your apartment complex or every house in your neighborhood and write a personalized note to each house. Say, hey, I mow lawns. I would charge $40 a week to mow your lawn. Please text or call me if you are interested in my services. Now, this seems very simple, but the personalization with the picture and the writing is something that people do not get these days. It's a lot harder to say no or pass someone up when you see an actual face and the fact that someone took time to write down and look at your house and say what they could do to help you out. You'll be surprised at how many people actually text or call you. If you hand out 100, 200 flyers, which is extremely cheap, you can either print off at home or go to FedEx office and print off some simple, they can be black and white flyers, very cheap, and you'll be surprised at how many people start calling and you can get more business that you know what to do with right off the bat. You can also post on your local Facebook community page about the service that you want to start. Don't be spammy about it because a lot of groups won't let you post about a business, but just be real and genuine and say, hey, looking to start my own business. If you need any help, I would love to help 
help you with you know any of your junk or your home cleaning or walking your dogs. There's so many home services out there that people are looking for and they always love to help out local entrepreneur rather than going with a big business who they feel might rip them off. The home service industry is very easy to get into, whether you're gonna do window washing, gutter cleaning, junk removal, dog walking, lawn care, home cleaning, carpet cleaning. It's just endless how many things that you can do for people. It's very beginner friendly in getting your foot in the door. I started out doing junk removal. I would make a few hundred dollars a day, then $500 a day. Then I started outsourcing people, contractors to do the work for me. So I don't have any employees. I contract out all the work. So there's a lot of different growth avenues you can do with home services where you don't have to be the one doing the actual home service work in the long run. That one would be my favorite, especially if you're just starting out and a beginner, trying to get into a lot of the other online businesses can be a little bit more intimidating and take some more skills. But home services is a traditional industry where even a beginner can get in and start getting some real business. I hope that these seven side hustles for beginners got your wheels turning, maybe gave you some motivation to go out there and make some extra money on the side. If you've got any other side hustles that you do or that you know someone who does, comment down below. Let me know what those are. I would love to hear them. Or if you try one of these, let me know how it works out for you. Let me know how much you're making. I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this, if you want more content like it, please like and subscribe. Send it to any other friends or business owners who might find it helpful. And we'll see you in the next one.